and welcome to my channel. This is Katrina Sargent, owner and creator of Devil Doll Custom Creations. Today we're going to be doing something super fun and super fast. This is printable vinyl wraps on pens and pencils using the UV Resin Light Box and the UV Resin Light. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. It means the world to me and my channel. Everything will be linked in the description below, including some discount codes. So these are from my digital files on Etsy. I have over 170 listings available. I will link the ones that I use in this video, but you should go check them out. This is my favorite printable vinyl. I do have a laser printer. They do offer inkjet vinyl. It's just in a green package instead of blue. Before I start adding the wraps, I'm going to walk you through my adapters for the light box and for the attachment that goes just a light over it. Imagination 3D makes my favorite pin to turner adapters. Now they're making UV light adapters. This is an adapter for mechanical pencils only. They do have pin adapters, which I will talk about in a second. You just put it right where the eraser goes, tape it up and it clicks right into the holder and it holds it nice and level for you to put your light over your pins and your pencils. Here's what the pin adapters look like. They're slightly longer for the pins to slide on it and it makes it very level and very secure. Your pin is not gonna be falling off that if you put it on your turner or using the UV light holder. Now, moving on to the UV box. It has its own setup. So you're gonna have this little disc that is going to go inside your box. It comes with these little plugs that go inside your pen and then it sits in these little holes on this disc. That's how it's going to turn in the light box. And it works great. But if you're like me, sometimes you get resin or epoxy on these adapters. I found a trick. These silicone straw toppers you can find on Amazon. I'll link them in the description. I now put them on these little plugs and then that silicone straw topper goes inside the pin. So if you get anything a little over that edge of the pin, it comes right off and it's not stuck to your adapter. It's still short enough to fit in your light box. You need to measure though, just to make sure. I do this for all of my adapters. If it's going on the turner or using UV. So now with all the explanations out of the way, now let's have some fun. Let's wrap some pens and pencils. You do not have to spray paint your pens if you don't want to before this. This principal vinyl is 100% opaque. You will not see the black under the vinyl. However, if you want to spray paint it to match your vinyl, because it's not going to go over that top little area, that's on you. I'm just showing you that it is possible to just prep a pen, sand it, wipe it down with some alcohol, and then wrap it with this principal vinyl. I do spray paint almost all of mine. This was just to show you that you don't have to if you don't want to. Just make sure everything is cut down. There's no edges or lumps or bumps because you will see that underneath your vinyl on any of these pencils or pens. All right, you can see on one of my mechanical pencils, I have that plug for the UV box. I added a rubber band around this adapter to see if it would hold it as well, and it does. So it can go back and forth between the two. It doesn't actually work in the UV box the way I have it set up here. I'll explain that when we get to the UV box. But now I'm just going through some of my printable vinyl pieces I have for mechanical pencil and for pens. Make sure you have all of your edges cut off. You will see this. This is not like water slide. If you haven't already went and watched my original mechanical pencil video, 
link in the description. It goes through how I prep them and tape them off for epoxy or bright tone. Same thing goes with UV resin. So what I do is I remove a little section of the backing so that I can apply it to my pen or pencil and not have things sticking to my hands and potentially holding or sticking to itself. So once I have it lined up to one of those edges on this big mechanical pencil, I make sure it's completely straight before I remove the rest of the backing and roll it on the pen. So what I do is I have it facing away from me and then I use my fingers or my thumbs, whichever direction you have your pen or pencil facing, and run it from the middle to the top and middle to the bottom as you rotate the pen or pencil towards you or away from you. You're going to have to see which one feels the easiest for you. And then you just keep going. You're going to have a slight lap over, but you can take a sharp craft knife and cut that off if it's not straight. But majority of times you don't need to because you won't see it. I then make a little divot where my tape is at the bottom or if you need to do it at the top and take a craft knife and cut off any that has went over my tape because I want to have a seal between my ta tape and my vinyl. I then remove the tape and then re-tape it with a little bit of that plastic showing so you get a complete seal on your wrap. This is my favorite way to add a full wrap on pens or pencils because it you don't really have much air trapped in as you're wrapping since you're rubbing it kind of out as you turn it. It gives it a nice smooth full wrap very fast very easy. So I'm going to show you another way if you didn't want to tape it off first. This mechanical pencil, I'm going to add the wrap on and then take my craft knife and cut the edges off and then tape it. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's not. It's kind of figure out which one you like best and go with it. I would say if you have a shaky hand or can't cut straight lines, go with the tape first. It gives you kind of a mark for you to follow versus freehanding it, cutting off a level top line and bottom line this way. Because these mechanical pencils, you need to make sure your resin or epoxy is nowhere near the top or bottom. You need to have a nice area of just the clear plastic showing so you don't screw them up. I messed up so many when I first started with these mechanical pencils. And you can't do anything about that. You have to just throw them away. Very frustrating. But I learned just give it enough area that you're not going to have any leakage under the tape or anything to affect the pencils itself. And then once you have your lines cut, you're going to tape off with a little bit of that clear showing so you get a good seal between the wrap and the resin, just like you would do with epoxy or anything like that. So you remember that black pen, it will not show under this white section of the vinyl wrap. I'm gonna do the exact same way. I remove a small area of the backing attach it to my pin before I start to rotate my pin and make sure it is fully attached with using my thumbs to the middle out or my fingers. Like I said, you're going to have to play with this and see if you like to rotate towards you or away from you. I do it both ways, so I'm not really sure which one's more natural, <laughs> but see what works for you. If you have any 
hanging over the bottom. Just take your pencils or dowel rods or whatever you have in your pens out and use a craft knife to trim up that bottom. Also, you're not going to want to go up over that rounded edge on the top. I just start it on the straight part of the pen. It's going to save your headache later to try to make sure that's smooth when you're trying to resin or bright tone. I chose a painted pen for this one because it is solid white background. I just kind of figured it would blend a little better with that top edge. And now I'm ready to do the resin. I'm allergic to epoxy, so I use a respirator and gloves. This is my favorite UV resin. I will link it in the description like everything else. I'm going to want to make a couple sparkly. So I'm going to add a little bit of pollen to some of the resin and then add it to the pens or pencils. But the ones I'm not adding the glitter to, I just add a little line and then smooth it out. I do very thin coats, so if I have to do two, three coats, they're not super thick or super heavy. You also don't have to worry about it kind of pooling to the bottom or top. So once I have it on there, I click it in, and then I actually kind of rotate it for the first 30 seconds or so, and then just let it sit and let it finish curing. This one, I want to do sparkly. So I add a little teeny tiny bit of pollen to the UV resin. If you add too much of this micro fine glitter, it will look foggy and it will look kind of gray. You don't want that. You just want to add a little bit of sparkle. So then once I add it onto my pen, I do the exact same thing. I rotate it for the first 30 seconds or so, and then just let it sit for probably two or three cycles to make sure it's hardened. If you do this glitter, on one coat, you're going to have to add a second coat or potentially third coat until your pen or pencil is 100% smooth and you can't fill any rough edges around the bottom or the top. The majority of my pens and pencils have probably three coats of UV resin. They are really thin coats. If you're heavy handed, you will not need to do probably three coats, but I don't like the idea of a pen being super heavy or pulling to one side or the other if it's not 100% level while it's turning or in your UV box or light. Okay, so once it is done, I take a craft knife and cut away any of the tape I have. This helps it to not pull up that UV resin edge and it gives you a nice clean edge on the top and bottom. And then it's done. You just put the pieces back together and you have a ready to use pencil or pen. This is why I love these wraps and using UV resin. They get done really fast and it's super easy to do. So while the other ones finish carrying, I'm going to start on the UV box. So I'm just adding in those little plugs that have that silicone straw topper inside the pen. You can totally add glitter onto the top area onto your wrap. You don't have to just leave it blank. You don't have to leave it painted. You can do glitter ombre from the top. You can even do it the ombre from the bottom up. It's your choice. These are just the basic wraps to start out and then you decorate from there. You can do a glitter swirl over a wrap.
So say you don't have any expensive adapters. This is what I originally did. I had my chopsticks that I put inside the mechanical pencils and that's how I used to turn it under a light. You can use this as well. It's super easy. You just use the wrap like I did before, tape off everything, and then hand turn it under your UV light. It can also be hooked in to this holder with the rubber band. It was pretty easy too. So then once I'm ready to start UV resin these pens, I just do it the same way. Add a small line, smooth it out with my hands as I rotate it to make sure nothing is not resined or there's no lumps or bumps. And then from there, you just take it and you put it in one of those holes, close your box, turn it on. It will start hardening right away. If you do too thick of a coat and you put it in this UV box like that, it will tend to cool on the bottom. You can also, before you put it in the box, hand turn it under a UV light to stop that from happening. But since I do such thin coats, I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so here is my mess up with trying to do a mechanical pencil in the UV box. Once I put it in the box, it's still a little too tall for my size of box, it doesn't fit correctly. Um, if I took that little plug and maybe cut it in half, it would fit fine. But it didn't fit during this video, so I just removed it from my box and added it under my UV light, and it appeared there. The great thing about these boxes is they're a lot more powerful than the UV lights you just put on top. So if you've ever had... Um, UV resin kind of being tacky and that kind of stuff. These boxes are amazing. They have a longer time, so they can go for like five minutes, pure cycle as they're rotating in the box. It is amazing. I know there's probably bigger boxes out there than what I have, but this was my first UV box purchase, so I wasn't 100% sure what size I needed, but this adapter works wonderful. It holds the pin straight up. You can have a little bit of clearance, even in this small little box. This is what it looks like once it's closed normally. This is how I add drips to my drip pins and keychains. I use puff paint. This is teal puff paint and I just add it to the edge and then I tap it down to get it to flow easier. It does not move like epoxy would. So once it's kind of settled slightly, it won't go anywhere. So you'll still have that nice little drip lip and you don't have to watch it like a hawk, like you do epoxy. Once it is set up, I let it set up for about two days or so to fully harden. And then I add a thin layer of UV resin over the top just to seal it in. I hope everyone liked this tutorial. Please like, 
share, subscribe. It means the world to me. If you have any questions or concerns, please write them in the comments. I do write back. Or if you have a next video you want to see, write them in the comments. Here's a little extra inspiration for any other wraps you might think you want to do on pens or pencils. All of these are in my Etsy shop. Go take a look.